Hi, I'm Heidi Murkoff, author of What to Expect When You're Expecting. Welcome to What to Expect on Accent Health. This episode, we're focusing on one of the behaviors and challenges toddlers are best known for, tantrums. Today, we're hanging out with Virginia and Mike and their mostly happy 15-month-old toddler, Jack. We love being parents and everything has changed, but the biggest challenge lately has been crying. We, you know, we realize it's just part of being a, a parent, uh, but it's been hard for us. So my question is, is how do you deal with these tantrums? Let's face it, your toddler is an adorable bundle of contradictions and a master of mixed feelings. But it's never easy standing by helplessly as your cheerful toddler cherub suddenly transforms into a mound of rage and tears. Unfortunately, there's no way to prevent all tantrums. If you've got a toddler, you've got tantrums. But it is possible to head off some tantrums before they come to a head by following these common sense tips. First, keep a regular schedule. Knowing what to expect can help a toddler feel more comfortable and less tantrum prone. Second, don't let your toddler get overtired. That's another common tantrum trigger. And don't let your toddler run on empty. Hunger can make anyone cranky, but it can definitely fuel a toddler tantrum. Offer that nutritious snack before there's a meltdown on aisle seven. There's no potion that magically makes tantrums disappear once they start, but there are a few strategies that can minimize minor meltdowns before they escalate into full-fledged fits. Stay calm. Nothing fuels a toddler's fire like a fired-up parent. Speak softly. Trying to scream over the screaming is only going to up the screaming ante. Always try distracting your child with his favorite toy. Toddlers have short attention spans and sometimes it's easy to divert them. When distraction doesn't work, often it's better to ignore the tantrums so your little guy will get it out of his system faster. Finally, don't stress. Tantrums are not a reflection on you or your child, even when they happen in the middle of a crowded mall. In general, we try to follow Jack's clues. If he wants to be held, we'll hold him. If he wants to be left alone, we'll let him cry it out. And that specifically is our question, should we pick him up when he's crying? Every toddler is different, so Virginia and Mike are right. Following your little one's cues and clues is key. For many toddlers, being held tightly helps them keep it together when they're falling apart. It can also help both of you calm down and regain control. On the other hand, sometimes being held will just make a child matter. So as always, play it by ear and by toddler and do what works best. Most of all, remember that crying and tantrums are a normal part of development. In fact, they're in a toddler's job description, a part of the job that most toddlers do extremely well. Tantrums are a toddler's way of carving out his own identity, gaining some measure of control, and releasing the frustration that comes with being short, but also short on skills, especially language skills. For a toddler, tantrums say it all, and everything that words can't communicate, at least not yet. Challenging for sure, but step back for a second and you'll see that they're really just another fascinating phase of your toddler's remarkable evolution. Watch out world, here I come.